Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us thank the Lord for this wonderful day. Let us thank the Lord for everything new around us and within us. Let us renew ourselves. Let us become new with the sunrise, with the new day, because Jesus is the light. He dispels the darkness within us and outside us. Let us be glad that He has given us everything in this world and because of whom we live day by day in his love. He has given us his own mother so that she can intercede for us. She can accompany us in our life's journey. Let us rely on her intercession and pray the memorari together. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored the help or sought the intercession or left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother, to you do we come before you stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Lord, I present myself to you in total surrender, the way I am. I thank you for all the gifts, blessings, and necessities of life that you have provided me with. Help me to be considerate towards others, especially those who are not so fortunate with their daily living. Lord, give us the heart and generosity to live with tenderness towards others, concern for others, and affection for others. Lord, with this great heart of generosity and love, I come before you in adoration to worship you, to praise you, and to thank you. I come before you with all my weaknesses, with all my sinfulness, and I ask you to heal my sick body, sick being. Bless me with your healing touch, Lord. Bless my father, my mother. Bless my children. Bless my nephews, nieces, my cousins, my relatives, friends, very especially the senior members in our homes my grandmother, grandfather, aging parents. Bless all of them with happiness, joy, and serenity. Lord, I thank you for the gift of all the senior members in my home, 
and all those who are participating at this moment in the adoration praising and worshiping you for you have given them long many years lord fill us in the same faith that you have brought us into this world that we may be detached from material things we may be detached from worldly relationships and affection and concern but rely totally on you even at the old age lord bless our family members especially those who take care of the aged in their homes lord bless all the sick all those who are suffering due to various illnesses and diseases lord at this time we pray very specially for those who are injured for those who have met with an accident those who have fractured themselves those who are suffering due to cancers tumors various illnesses in their body in their head in their chest in their stomach and in their whole being their feet hands lord heal them touch them at this moment we pray for all those who have given up hope and feel that they cannot be healed the lord touches you at this time with healing trust in him believe in him and the lord performs this miracle for you let us pray at this time for one another him d27 on page 113 from the joyful lips whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me when i was hungry you gave me to eat when i was thirsty you gave me to drink now enter into the home of my father whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me when i was weary you helped me find rest when i was anxious you calmed all my fears now enter into the home of my father whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me when i was homeless you opened your door when i was naked you gave me your coat now enter into the home of my father whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me my dear brothers and sisters let us take psalm 147 god the foundation of jerusalem come and i will show you the bride that the lamb has chosen the antiphon o praise the lord jerusalem o praise the lord jerusalem zion praise your god he has strengthened the bars of your gates he has blessed the children within you He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoar frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. He waters the waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and he melts them. at the breath of his mouth the waters flow he makes his word known to jacob 
to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us take for our scripture reading from Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 21 and 22. Their prince shall be one of themselves. Their ruler shall come forth from their midst. I will make him draw near, and he shall approach me, says the Lord. And you shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, let us now earnestly pray for healing for each other. Let us pray for the sick in our families and let us pray for oneself. Lord will heal you. Lord will touch you. Lord will do something very impossible that you think it is. Trust in the Lord. Raise your hands and your voices in thanksgiving and praises to God. Lord Jesus, you came to heal our wounded and troubled hearts. I beg you to heal the torments that cause anxiety in my heart. I beg you in a particular way to heal all which are the cause of sin. I beg you to come into my life and heal me of the psychological harms that struck me in my early years and from the injuries that they caused throughout my life. Lord Jesus, you know my burdens. I lay them all on your good shepherd's heart. I beseech you, and by the merits of the great open wounds in your heart, and to heal the small wounds that are in mine. Heal the pain of my memories, so that nothing that has happened to me will cause me to remain in pain and anguish, filled with anxiety. Heal, O Lord, all those wounds that have been the cause of all the evil that is rooted in my life. I want to forgive all those who have offended me. Look to those inner souls that make me unable to forgive. You who came to forgive the afflicted of heart, please heal my own heart. Heal me. My Lord Jesus, those intimate wounds that cause my physical ailments. I offer you my heart. Accept it, Lord. Purify it and give me the sentiments of your divine heart. Help me to be meek and humble. Heal me, O Lord, from the pain caused by the death of my loved ones, which is oppressing me. Grant me to regain peace and joy in the knowledge that you are the resurrection and the life. Make me an authentic witness to your resurrection, your victory over sin and death, your living presence among us. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you, all the angels and saints. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Glorify you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, keep us ever alert and watchful as we await the coming of your Son, so that faithful to his teaching, we may hasten to meet our Savior with lamps alight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, with a heart full of gratitude, thanksgiving, 
let us bow before the Lord during the benediction hymn and sing praises to him and receive the blessings and graces that come to us from our Lord. 